this guy because he's your fearless leader. All right. I gave, I gave it to you. Now let's be running out of time. So let's see. Good morning, Chairman Wesson. Good morning, sir. City Council President Garcetti and members of the Housing, Community, and Economic Development Committee. Thank you for holding this important hearing on the impact of the current Writers Guild strike. My name is John Bowman, and I am the chairman of the Writers Guild Negotiating Committee. We are here today to discuss the impact that this strike is having on writers, other workers in the entertainment industry, and the Los Angeles economy. It's a strike we believe we were forced into, and one that is now being prolonged by the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. I'd like to begin by explaining what is at stake in this strike. We are fighting to maintain the livelihoods of Los Angeles' middle-class writers working in the entertainment industry. The typical WGA member makes about $62,000 a year when you average earnings over a five-year period. We are fighting to ensure the writers are compensated for the reuse of their material as the business transitions to the internet. Right now, management is trying to take advantage of this transition to reduce our compensation. Residuals, payments for the reuse of our material, are not a bonus, and they can constitute from 20 to 50% of a WGA member's income. With almost half of our membership not employed as writers. What was that percentage again? Yeah, 20, 20 to 50%. A writer starting out, a middle class writer, can be that much of their income. And with almost half of our membership not employed as writers each year, we have a very high unemployment rate in our, uh, in our, in our community. Residuals help sustain the Los Angeles creative community. Residuals help us stay in the business between writing jobs. Without residuals, many of, us, many of us would be forced to abandon our careers as writers. I'd now like to discuss how the Alliance drove these negotiations to what we all had hoped to avoid, a strike. The AMPTP came to the table last July with draconian rollbacks that would have gutted our contract and they did not move off these proposals until very close to the expiration of the contract. We negotiated through the expiration of the contract and understood that if we took our DVD proposal off the table, an offer on new media would be forthcoming. We removed our DVD proposal, which was incredibly important to our membership, but the offer never materialized, and we were forced to strike. The AMPTP broke off negotiations on November 4th and only agreed to meet again after Thanksgiving. We negotiated for two weeks, but the AMPTP's proposals did nothing to address the major concerns of our members. On December 7th, the AMPTP again broke off negotiations and issued an ultimatum that they would not bargain with us until we informed them in writing that we removed six proposals, including several proposals that are critical to the future of our union. We reject the idea of an ultimatum, but we've been clear with the AMPTP that our proposals are all negotiable. The producers have many proposals on the table that are unacceptable to writers, but we have never forced the AMPTP to remove these proposals in order for negotiations to proceed. We believe that the AMPTP's ultimatum violated the National Labor Relations Act and we have since filed an unfair labor practice charge with the NLRB. Because of the AMPTP's intransigence, we are now demanding negotiating sessions with the individual studios in the hopes of reaching a settlement as soon as possible to avoid the economic damage that is to come. As the holidays approach and many entertainment industry employees are out of work, we are still waiting to negotiate a fair contract. We remain at the negotiating table that they abandoned. I want to assure you that what we're asking for is reasonable. The negotiation is hinged on ensuring that WJ members are fairly compensated on new media platforms for reuse of, re reuse of written material as well as coverage of original material. This is the future of the business and our proposals address the needs of the changing marketplace. The WGA has designed a contract proposal that is fair to writers and easily affordable by the companies. We made major movement towards an agreement by dropping our proposal to improve the DVD formula. 
This removed $57 million over the life of the contract. The WGA's offer now stands at $151 million for three years. The WGA and its membership never wanted this strike. From the beginning of negotiations, we presented reasonable proposals and have made every effort to reach agreement, including dropping our DVD proposal. When the Alliance abruptly handed us its ultimatum, we were in fact working on counter-proposals that would have furthered the talks. With this strike in its seventh week, we remain committed to making a fair deal and would like to return to the bargaining table as soon as possible to achieve that and get everyone back to work. But I'd like to emphasize that just getting back to the table is not enough. The companies finally have to be prepared to bargain with us seriously so that a fair deal can be reached. The WGA has put together its own estimates on the economic impact of the strike if it continues into next year. We believe that if a settlement can be reached soon and our members and other industry employees can get back to work, the current economic loss can be regained during the first quarter of 2008. While production is slowed down, it can be made up if we return to work soon. However, as the strike continues in the next year, the local economy will feel the full impact of the strike as the networks cut the number of episodes that were ordered for their television series. Through an internal survey, the WGA found that half-hour television series have an average of six remaining episodes, and one-hour series have an average of seven remaining episodes that need to be written and produced to complete the season. We estimate that 30 half-hour series and 45 one-hour series are produced in Los Angeles. If the strike continues and the remainder of this television season does not get produced, the total economic impact will be a loss of more than $2.5 million, which will clearly be detrimental to the local economy. We are here to ask the members of the AMPTP to return to the table and settle this contract before irreparable damage is done. We are ready and waiting to negotiate, but we cannot settle this strike if we are the only party at the negotiating table. Thank you for this opportunity to testify. Yeah, thank you for coming. We're gonna get city council starts shortly, so you're gonna have to Trust me, we're going to get a little creative with how we're going to try to roll the rest of this program out. But realize that uh, there will be uh, opportunity in council today for individuals who want to speak on this item to be afforded that opportunity as well. So, Mr. Bowman, thank you for coming. What I want to do is, it's my understanding,